Hello again, and welcome to The Trinity is Excellent. I'm your host, Elder Yvette Trim Jackson, and today we are going to talk about the things that are going on in the world today, end times, perilous times, and I have two other lovely ladies here with me who are going to join in and share some revelations about these things. So I'm gonna have them introduce themselves. Hi, Minister Vivian Walker, glad to be here. Evangelist Patricia Moore, and I'm glad to be here also. Okay, okay. Well, um, it's no secret uh, of the things that are going on. Uh, we are living in a day where there is media 24-7. If you miss the morning news, the midday news, the evening news, you can catch it any time of the day because we have what we call CNN now and other mm -hmm. stations too. So you can always go in and you don't just get local news, but you got world news. And mm -hmm. when you turn it on, the majority of the news is not good news. They're not uh, telling us about the gospel, the good news. Okay. But uh, most of the news is not good. And uh, the things that we are seeing today, you know, we're seeing a lot of killing. The spirit, uh, the murdering uh, spirit is out there. Uh, it doesn't mind uh, killing any age and not really having uh, any remorse about it. Um, right now, we're in an explosion of just uh, sexual harassment uh, being exposed. The blanket has just been pulled off of that and we are hearing of different names popping up coming from all aspects of life from media uh, to the even the news uh, uh, networks as well as in the church um, families just everywhere uh, the workforce and it's not limited I mean it's been in the medical field, in uh, police departments, fire departments, postal service, you name it, uh, corporate America is there everywhere. So as we begin to talk about this, there are some scriptures that we would like to look at because in the things that we're seeing, it sounds like these things are happening because Prophecy is being fulfilled, and we are coming down to the end times. So I'm going to ask uh, one of you to start with your scriptures to talk about. Well, I think I'd like to have you talk first, okay. uh, Minister Vivian. I'm going to stop in the first verse because it will be more plain. Mm -hmm. Okay. And can and you I'm explain a little bit about this verse, what's going on here okay. in that verse? This, okay, I'm going to read the first verse of uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter, and it's talking about the signs of the time. And uh, they wanted to know when would the, uh, they, they, in this first verse, they was introducing Jesus to a temple that was being built. And uh, they was uh, just praising the temple, you know, the, the bricks and everything. And, and they asked him about the, when would the end be? Mm -hmm. And uh, when they asked him, he began to tell them, you know, uh, verse 2 says, uh, and, Jesus, and Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things. He says, Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left one stone upon another upon another. These this shall this shall not be that shall I'm sorry, that shall not be thrown down. And he was letting them know that even though this is being built, but this won't last. Mm -hmm. This is just temporal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, cause they want to know, well, well, when when would the end come? Mm -hmm. when, when is all this going to end? You know, yeah, they want to know. And just as you read that, that mm -hmm. makes me think because you know it says everything shall pass away, mm -hmm. but the word of God. Yes, yeah, it stands. Everything is going to pass away, right, but right. the word of God. But Go the ahead. Word of God. Go ahead. Verse three says, it says, and all, and it says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, his disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us. When shall, excuse me, these things be? And what shall be the sign of the coming of the end of the world? They wanted to know when, when would the end of the world come? What, yeah, what was going to take this? place? And we know that when Christ, uh, when he descended, 
we know that's when the end began, mm -hmm. you know, way back then. That was the end, you know, mm -hmm. the, uh, the end, you know, preparing us for what's getting ready to come. But uh, they wanted to know then. Verse 4 says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Even though all this stuff is going to take place, he's saying, all these things we're hearing, wars and rumors of wars, and, mm -hmm. and things has happened, floods and different storms is taking place. He said, but the end, the end is not yet, because we know it's got to be, uh, the end is, we know once the word is preached to all, mm -hmm. the four corners of the earth. So he was saying that the end is not yet. Do you want me to continue? Yeah, please. Okay. And then verse 6 says, verse 7 says, For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you up, and be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall de deceive many. And because of a ni because iniquity shall abound, mm -hmm. the love of many shall wax cold. Oh, yes. So right there, uh, I think we can stop there and all of us can kind of uh, attest to the things that we're seeing. We said, you said wars and rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. So we have seen that and we're seeing that now. I mean, almost every other day we're hearing about uh, North Korea uh, possibly shooting off missiles and we may wind up in a war there. Mm -hmm. um, with the Middle East, so much is going on over there. It's no peace. and. Mm -hmm. The latest thing uh, with them making uh, the the UN taking it to uh, Jerusalem has been so much peace and even uh, rioting here. Mm -hmm. because, because you have something uh, to say. As far as the most recent, you know, is uh, uh, by uh, uh, the president announcing that Jerusalem is the uh, capital, capital of Israel now. Mm -hmm. And it's causing really uh, uh, uproar, yes. uh, uproar between between the Pakistan and the other Israel people, the Jews, mm -hmm. and then you know that's a that's a that's a that's something that's brewing up. You know, yes. it's not talk. Everybody is like kind of focused on Korea because he's so open with his mm -hmm. but it's like they're not watching the other countries that are speaking of wars like iran yes mm. they and and that's that's a country to watch mm -hmm. because we don't want to get into a confrontation with iran because they are very powerful in nuclear weapons and stuff so that that's why it's wars and rumors of the wars, wars. Yes. and it's happening it's people don't see it mm -hmm. until some 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 of them don't see until it happens. That's right, and and even I want to throw in there too, right here in our own country, yes. in the United States, mm -hmm. in this nation, uh, there's rumors of wars uh, because there is so much division here. Yeah. It's almost like another civil war could break out. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We're divided politically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're divided racially. Mm -hmm. You know, ethnicity, uh, there's, uh, we, we are almost, we're like a melting pot here, mm -hmm. but there is so much division that it's almost like there could be possibly another civil war where we're fighting yes. against ourselves in our mm -hmm. own nation. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. that's, and that's, that's because, it, like, uh, when she was reading in the scripture here, it said the love of many shall wax cold. Mm -hmm. And and that's what it is. No no one uh, has Lord. no real love, you know. Right. And 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 not much humanity with, today, and is they it? They don't. They can say the word, but they everything is something about hatred. 
You know, you got to have a argument when it comes to love, mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. about love or demonstrating love. Mm -hmm. No one wants to do that. They were always, always an opposing side that's going to come up when you try to demonstrate love. Mm -hmm. So people that normally would love, their hearts are cold now because yes. they don't feel no love. They don't okay. see no love. Everything is divided. The only love they said, well, this is how it is, and this is how it is. And no one's coming together, even though you are among each other together. together. Nobody is together. Together, mm -hmm. right. Everybody has their own agenda. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And there's so much social media that social media plays a good part in division. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It really does, because it's so much things are said, you know, the Twitter, the, the Facebook, all, all those different where you can express yourself mm -hmm. yes. and the little things that people say mm -hmm. that they're, they're ma making divisions so easy mm -hmm. yes. so easy because i remember when i was a, 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 ch a, ch a child growing up mm -hmm. and my mother used to always say that the tv was the devil box mm -hmm. now when my after my dad passed my mother got rid of TVs. Okay. We had a TV because my dad had a TV. Mm -hmm. but when I, and I look back now, I love phones. Mm -hmm. These are nothing but screens. Mm -hmm. Like you watching TV. Mm -hmm. When you're on Twitter. When you're on this. When you're looking at all this stuff that they put up. Mm -hmm. It's nothing but the, I mean, it's good stuff on there, but you look, you, what draws your eyes, your attention the most. Mm -hmm. It's the negative stuff mm -hmm. and the stuff that shouldn't be on there. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so I understand now why she called it the devil box mm -hmm. because right. it's working. Right. And he, Satan is working through mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Well, that kind of goes too with the, when you talk about the Seven Mountains uh, media. Uh, because with all the inventions, they can be used for either good or for bad. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that he tells us of which and what that's another thing here in today with all the things that are going on what can we do you know it says guard your eye gates mm -hmm. your gates watch your gates certain things they're not good you need to turn away from that that's right sure. you know don't sit there and get pulled in yeah. and consumed uh -huh. into that thing uh -huh. because again even in those those can be addicting uh -huh. yes it is. okay yes, they can. so you have to be careful what you are watching now those are the eye gates Mm -hmm. What you're listening to, the ear gates. Sometimes you have to excuse yourself from a conversation because mm -hmm. what's, what's being said, you, you, you can't turn that around. It's going on. So you need to just kind of come away from there. Mm -hmm. You could do more coming away from that conversation and praying about those in that conversation mm -hmm. than you may be able to do just sitting in there mm -hmm. listening to it. So. Mm -hmm. You know, and then again, how he said, we, we are to raise a certain standard. That's the sanctification. We're set mm -hmm. apart, right? Mm -hmm. Certain circles, certain things, we just can't be a part of. That's right. That's right. If it's going on, we've got to say something, take mm -hmm. a stand. Mm -hmm. or move out of the way and pray on it. Mm -hmm. You know, again, to pull down those strongholds. Mm -hmm. That's right. And from there, you also mentioned about that from the next thing you went down, you said rumors of wars. And the next thing you, you and you mentioned to uh, uh, evangelists, you mentioned about waxing coal, mm -hmm. how they they've uh, just turned away mm -hmm. from yes. what is righteous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we see all those things. And, and I think there were some few other things in there. You said, too. Uh, um, I'm not exactly sure after you left the rumors of wars, but I, I think you mentioned about four different things that I can see that are going on. Oh, you mentioned, I believe, did you say the earthquakes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it says nations shall rise against nations. Nations war, shall rise wars against and Romans nations. Rumors of wars. Yes. Kingdom against kingdoms. Fam uh, it says uh, yeah. shall be uh, famine and uh, pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Mm -hmm. He said, but this is just the beginning of sorrows. sorrows. Yes, and we've seen that too because mm -hmm. just in uh, this year we saw like four hurricanes, I believe it was, back to back. Yes. yes, you know, uh, 
As soon as Striking one hit and come place. off, another another mm -hmm. one was forming before the other one mm -hmm. <laughs> could finish damaging. Here come another one. Mm -hmm. So we saw that, and then uh, there was a big earthquake, I believe, in Mexico. Uh, and then some stuff just going on. There's so much. Sometimes you just say, "Oh my goodness." Yeah, you and you hear it where earthquakes, where earthquakes normally don't happen. Yeah, like they just had an earthquake. Was it in New York? Mm -hmm. Just recently, mm -hmm. they had an earthquake there, and you know, New York is a place that you space the other side of the coast, mm -hmm. the uh, United States, States coast that always worried about the earthquakes. We been worried about earthquakes in, in New, New York, York, but right. it's happening. Yes, it's You're happening. Right. And Correct, mm -hmm. and. and you didn't say that, but that's one of the things too. It's like things would be happening that are out of the ordinary, mm -hmm. that don't go along with location or mm -hmm. seasons. Mm -hmm. So yes, and we see that. Uh, mm -hmm. We were just talking recently. We were amongst ourselves about how the grass was so green this fall because of mm -hmm. all of the rain. In the mm -hmm. summer, we didn't get the rain, but when the fall came and they began to die out and turn brown, next thing you know, we had rain, 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 rain. Uh -huh. And then the grass just perked up, the trees were budding, the grass was growing again, and everybody had green grass. <laughs> green grass, sure. that's right. That's right. So, I, I wanna say something here. I, you know, when I, I'm, I'm gonna read verse 12 again. Verse 12 says, and because iniquity, and because iniquity shall abound, the grace, the love of God shall waste cold. But 13 says, but he that endure to the end, mm. the same shall be saved. He that endure through all this, all this trying, all this is what's going to show up. It, we have to endure. We have to be able to stand. I think you were saying it earlier. Mm -hmm. We have to be in this, able to stand no matter what. No matter how things look, what they seem like, we have to be in place. You know what I'm saying? And then it goes on to say in 14, says, and in this gospel, of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end come. Then shall the end come. Mm -hmm. Then. Yes, yes. And uh, when we talk about standing, mm -hmm. Go ahead. how do we stand? You say, how do we? Well, one way that we stand is We've got to know what his word says. Okay. Because yes. one of the things, even in the word, as you were reading there, it told us about the things that would be happening. Yes. Right? Mm hmm Some of us are blessed to grow up in homes where we went. Our parents took us to places where we heard about these things, right? Mm -hmm. And when they say... Uh, the, the end is coming. Jesus is coming soon, the end times. And I can remember my dad who's gone on saying, I've been hearing that since I was a little boy. And we have. We've been hearing it. Like you say, it began right. mm -hmm. when uh, Jesus came, right? Mm -hmm. But in standing, you've got to know what the word says. It says these things were happening, but what did it say? It wouldn't be the end until the world. the world, the gospel had been, been sent, sent all, all around the world. The world. Mm -hmm. And that gospel means good news. Good news. Mm -hmm. Because good news tells us that even in all of this, mm -hmm. for us, there's another, there's another page to the story. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But it's our choice. Yeah. It's our choice of how we want this thing to play out mm -hmm. for us. So there, even in that, and, and, and throughout the Bible, he tells us to fear not. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things is, too, even in all of this, what did he say? Lo, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Always. Even until the ends of the earth. Isn't that what he said? That's mm -hmm. the word. But if you don't know the word, mm -hmm. then you see all this, you hear all this, you think, oh, you become afraid. afraid. That's right. You see? But... In knowing the word and what it says, then you know that I don't have to fear. Because mm -hmm. he told me to fear not. He told me that stuff would be happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you said we have to endure. That endure verse, what verse end. was that you read again? We've verse, got to endure. Verse 13 says, it says, be, it says, but he that endure to the end, the same shall be, be saved. saved. Mm -hmm. So that's hoping that we're going to, you, you can be saved. Mm 
-hmm. with all that's going around, mm -hmm. yet you still can be saved. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to happen. It, and, and, and it is happening. Mm -hmm. It's a reality. Mm -hmm. This stuff is really it's happening. Really it's not really myth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's happening. We're seeing it every day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. ISIS is on, is on the rampage. You know what I'm saying? The yes. Yeah. Yes. And those would be like uh, the different ones coming up, so so-called nation of which and what deception has come in, mm -hmm. because you know, as I say, it's God's desire that all men would be saved, mm -hmm. because it mm -hmm. you know, and when we choose, then we have to endure. Right. We have to stand up for righteousness. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We have to act like his children. He talks mm -hmm. about that in Hebrews, right? When yes, he tells yes. them whom he loves, he chasten. Yes. Uh huh. And then yes. when he tell them, you act like bastard children. And that's what he tell them. Yes. He said, because if you're mad, act like you're mad. Mm -hmm. right. If you're that's mad, true. get in. I, I left you a manual here. Mm -hmm. Get yes. into the word. Know what the word says. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all yes. that's going on, but I, I got this. Because yes. mm -hmm. I'm God, and I'm God all by myself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And just like my, the Trinity is excellent. Yes, He's given is. us everything we need. Everything. 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 God so loved the world, he gave his son. Mm -hmm. His yeah. son came down that we could have life and life more abundant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when his son came, he said, okay, I see they still need some more stuff. I'm going to give them some gifts. Mm -hmm. So he yes. gave us fivefold ministry mm -hmm. yes. for the perfecting of the saints. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's what he that's said. Right. He said, and then... I'm going to send the Holy Spirit down here with you mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. to dwell yep. in yeah. you. Yeah, that's right. That will lead and guide you in all truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's, those all, we got all these things to help us endure. Mm -hmm. That's right. To it stand. Is. Yes. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. yes. And it's really in the right. Word. It's but if you word. don't know, you need mm -hmm. to get to know. Mm -hmm. And then he, 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 got, he said prayer because he's always wanted to meet and talk with us. That goes mm -hmm. back into Old Testament in the tabernacle. That was mm -hmm. the whole purpose of the tabernacle. So I can have a meeting place to meet with my people. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what does he want? He wants us to be sons That's and daughters mm -hmm. of his. Mm -hmm. It was a time when it was only for the Jews, but he said, don't worry about it. The Gentiles, I'm, I'm going to pull you in too. You'll mm -hmm. be engrafted in. Mm -hmm. But it's all your choice. Mm -hmm. That's right. Your choice. So that, that takes us into, uh, I want to move into 2 Timothy now. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you, you, you went through and you talked about these mm -hmm. things that are happening. Yes. And uh, in uh, 2 Timothy, and I want to focus in on uh, the third uh, chapter. And uh, the beginning there, and it was talks about here, that in that third chapter, it's talking about the coming apostasy. Mm -hmm. And the apostasy is uh, the falling away. And I think you mentioned that yes. too, yes. about that in there, a great falling away. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we can see that too, when you say men waxing cold. Mm -hmm. They're falling away from what is righteous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's becoming a thing, how you say with media, almost where anything goes. Mm -hmm. We see that. Uh, even in the gender identity. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, yeah, it's okay. Let them do what they want to do. Feel good, that's their choice, whatever. Yes. They, it's they, okay. They have brought you know. that in. What they say, they, the song used to say, it's your thing, do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I they I can't say. tell you who to sock it to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's your thing. That's what they you know. say. But God says no. That's, not, that's not the way it is. Mm -hmm. I, he has things that are good for us, that That's he right. wants us to follow, mm -hmm. that are beneficial to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and he, he only wants the best for us. That's right. Yes. So in 2 Timothy, uh, in that third chapter, the coming apostasy, uh, it says, I'm just going to do that first verse, I believe. This known also that in the last days, that's what we're talking about, mm -hmm. perilous times shall come. Mm -hmm. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covertous boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Right there. Mm -hmm. Don't we see that today? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
We see all, all of that today. Mm -hmm. uh, men becoming lovers of themselves. Uh, and uh, I use the example of the selfies. You oh, know, yes. uh, people everywhere you look. Yes. It's all about me. Mm -hmm. yes. Selfie. Yeah, but they have the new, well, the younger people, the younger generation, they have what you call the Snapchat. And the Snapchat, it's always putting your, a picture of yourself, because you, your picture of yourself, because my grandkids will say, oh, we saw, we saw uh, maybe one of their brothers or sisters, uh, their, their cousins, I saw David on Snapchat. Uh, he's over here doing this, because they're holding the camera in front of themselves, mm -hmm. and they're talking about, themselves. themselves and I see people at the bus stop these get people they just got the th they they not taking a the picture they said but they looking at themselves and they <laughs> you know mm -hmm. they get their hair and they making faces mm -hmm. and you know mm -hmm. <laughs> lovers of themselves lovers that's right yeah, yeah. It is. They, and it's not about uh, mankind mm -hmm. no. my sister and my brother I don't see the needs of them because I'm so busy and consumed and mm -hmm. taking care of me mm -hmm. and what I want and what feels good to me. Mm -hmm. uh, even on the road, we see, uh, we hear a lot about the road rage. Or we hear people shooting around, uh, around. They got to get, because you know what? I don't care where you got to go. I got to be here at a certain time. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Big it's guy. about me. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna drive like I'm the only one on the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And right, I, t I, I, I remember a story of someone telling me they was a long line, mm -hmm. and the lady ran in. This was back when the, the videos, they were doing VHS, and she ran to the front of the line. They say, lady, you can't get in the front of the line. And she say, but you don't understand. I've got to catch the bus to get to the, to the riverboat, mm -hmm. so I got to turn mine in. So it wasn't about all these other people <laughs> in line. It's about, mm -hmm. you know, I got a bus to catch. It's about me, mm -hmm. all about me. So, yes, they have come down to lovers of themselves, covertousness, whatever the other fella got, I want it. And we see that, unfortunately, so sad. Um, and I have nothing against designer clothes, bags, mm -hmm. shoes, but it's like you see this, and oh, I got to have that. You're right. Pick up, really don't. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> right. Exactly. If it ain't in your budget, you That's really right. don't. That's right, you can't afford it. There you go. So, but, uh, yeah, so much we see here. And boasters, everybody's got to be telling what they're doing. That goes back into lovers of themselves. Mm -hmm. We are winding down, and we are going to continue on our next show because we don't want to just talk about all the stuff that's going on and what he said will happen, but we want to talk about standing and the things that we can do as well. So uh, we will continue on with Second Timothy in our next one, because there it gets off into uh, uh, that verse three where it says, without natural affections. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Uh, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent fierce dispersers of those that are good. Mm -hmm. And we know that's happening too. Somebody that's standing up for what's right, it's like almost they're ostracized and Yes. <laughs> they want to yes. almost stone them today. Mm -hmm. So we uh, invite you to come back and tune in as we continue on in the perilous times, what's happening today. But uh, we always want you to remember and know that the Trinity is excellent. God got you. He loves you. Amen. So until next time, always remember the Trinity is excellent. Amen.